Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. I'm really, really excited for this because I've been planning this H&M haul for a little while. Love you H&M, but your next day delivery just... I don't know why it even offered me next day delivery because it was just never gonna happen. And shock, it didn't. But it's all right, it's okay, the stuff is here. I'm so excited to get into everything with you guys. I hope you're doing really, really well. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Georgia May. Please check out some of my other videos and do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Also, I would love it so, so much if you guys could go ahead and check me out on my other social medias, my TikTok and my Instagram. Um, I'll leave everything linked below, my Vinted account, just anywhere you guys can reach me. Obviously my business email and all that good stuff will be linked below. I will also leave in the description box my LTK which I'm starting to use it so much. It's a bit of a new platform app for me, but I'm obsessed with it. And I really, really do recommend getting the app it's just a lot easier to navigate. I link all of my real outfits over there. I link like my best skincare products, my top makeup products, my gift guides. It's become a really nice little page for me to do, you know, some links for you guys of my favorite products. So definitely check out my LTK. And as always, all of these items in this video will be linked in the description box if you want to shop the links below. Okay, that is enough. Um, I've got this lovely cold, which is still lingering, but we're going to roll with it. I'd love to know what you guys think about this background setup. I'm always open to constructive criticism this year for me is the year of regular uploads you know change and doing things that benefit you guys i want my content to really be the best that it can for you when you're watching me so let me know what you think about this background it just gives me a little bit more space to show you the items um again they'll always be cutaways of me trying everything on so don't worry about that okay we're gonna jump straight into it if anyone's wondering this little top i've got on right now i'm gonna leave a link below as well this is actually amazon pick this up in this color and like a stone love these i mean i don't know if they're as good as the skims because i have not yet you know dived into the world of skims so i'll leave this below if you don't want to break the bank and you want to go for something like this um maybe try amazon right let's get straight into it this is my big old bag okay so i bought two different pairs of beige trousers i'm going to start with the more linen pair which definitely is more of the spring summer pair yeah got them in a uk 12 they retail for 27.99 they're like a linen mix slightly off cream they are a little bit sheer I like the look of them and I'm gonna pair them with this little cardigan that I picked up. Grab this in a medium, this was $24.99. It's a really nice kind of beige and cream striped cardigan. I really love this for the summer. I feel like this could be such a good little staple. So I'm gonna pop these on together, we'll see how the trousers fit. You know me and trousers, we never get along, but let's give it a go. Okay guys, so we've got some hits, we've got some misses. This cardigan is such a hit for me. I really, really love this. You guys will notice this from today's video. It's a lot of basics. That doesn't mean to say that I'm never gonna wear something exciting again in my life. But as I'm getting older, nearly 27, <laughs> I'm noticing that for me, key core basics in my wardrobe are really important to me. And I think some basic trousers, some basic knitwear pieces are just fantastic and i think this is that so yeah really love this i think this would be great going into the springtime it's a super soft knit because it's probably made of something like acrylic but it feels really really nice and soft i love the fit yeah love this i'm actually going to paris soon <laughs> for a little uh, pre-birthday trip. And I feel like this could be so nice out there, but I know the weather probably will not be warm enough, but definitely for spring, this is a go-to for me. I love it. I really am thinking it's so cute. Okay, then for the trousers, you guys will see these a lot better, hopefully next to me in the try-on clip. I'll also try and put some photos of this stuff from the website on the screen. Do you know what I'm saying? I will try. I've got a new editor. Shout out to you because he's amazing. And I feel like he's transforming my life with YouTube and just helping me out so much. And I just want to take this time so thank you so much these linen trousers you guys will see a lot better next to me it's such a shame i love the trousers they fit really nice on the leg they're a really lovely linen but i should have known linen's quite unforgiving the fabric itself has zero stretch to it it really doesn't as well so if you're looking to order these online it has no stretch and as much as they fit so nice everywhere else unfortunately here they are just not fitting right i mean look you can see they're really tight across here 
we've got the pockets can barely you know i can't put my hand in my pocket i'm so gutted because i bought these in store today and i should have just sized up and got a size 14 but i didn't so i'll have to go back tomorrow and see if i can exchange them i do really love the trousers they're just not the right fit but you can get the idea with this cardigan and i think this outfit is lovely i'm looking to invest in a pair of really pretty i know they're such a marmite product uh ballerina flats for the spring i like them and i think this was some little flats ballerina pumps or maybe some like um brogues like uh loafers maybe like some beigey loafers or something beige bag sunnies long trench go to love this cardigan okay i'm going to keep this base on and i'm going to try on a different pair of trousers okay these next trousers they're very similar but they're different they're not a linen mix they're just like a beige color got them in a uk 12 and these retail for 24.99 let's hope these ones fit a little bit better okay so next up i have these trousers um i think these fit me a little bit better i actually think the size 14 might be a bit too big on the leg feel free to let me know in the comment section i love the color of these they'd be great for a workwear trouser or maybe your university your sixth form something where you need that more smart vibe but not a full suit these could be great i also have so many ways i would dress them you know not in that formal way really oversized knitwear you could do them with like a t-shirt and a hoodie and just kind of like dress it down um trench coats look really nice with this kind of tone i needed things like this in my wardrobe personally i'm not a jeans person i own two pairs of jeans and i actually really like both pairs that i own but i'm a bit fussy when it comes to denim i never feel comfortable in it so trousers for me are like something i want to look in into a bit more and i do really really like them they're a lovely color again i think they look really nice with this little cardigan and yeah these ones are a winner and i'm hopefully going to exchange the others because i do like the others they're more of like a summer trouser whereas i would say these are still more like winter slash spring but i i do really really like them hopefully you don't think they're too tight i think these ones do fit me a little bit better but definitely let me know okay next up i have this little pajama set kind of random but i really wanted to include it i love sleepwear stuff but i'm not a massive fan of satin i do have one pair of satin pajamas in this that i just had to purchase because they're so nice but i loved this it's like a linen kind of cotton super lightweight really cute little uh sleepwear kind of set pajamas definitely probably more geared towards the summer but i just thought it was too pretty to pass up um i love this i've kind of just been wearing it around the house as well if i'm perfectly honest just to chill in the shorts are really comfortable like they've got like an elastic waistband and i just really really like it and thought it was very cute again bit of an odd one here but wanted to include it my light's fallen down. God, today is not my day. Okay, so next up, I have this little outfit that I've put together that I'm actually really kind of smug with because I love how it's turned out. I wasn't sure if I was going to love this jumper or not on H&M and I absolutely love it. It's really lovely quality. So it just says Soho NYC. It's like this grey, giving me... If you've ever seen those pictures of Princess Diana, of her in those like oversized sweatshirts, cycle shorts, with a pair of sunnies. Have I got a pair of sunnies? Hang on. So like... Big pair of sunglasses, trainers on, oversized jumper, some little cycle shorts or leggings. That kind of like athleisure, but not actually athleisure wear look, if you know what I mean. I love this. I got this in a large. It fits really nice. It's like the perfect level of oversized. You could also tuck it if you wanted to and have it like that. Yeah, this is the perfect sweatshirt. I can never have enough of these in my wardrobe. And then I've actually paired it with these um, lycra leggings. So they're definitely more of like a workout legging. They actually feel amazing quality and they look really thick. I didn't know what to expect from H&M like gym wear, but I grabbed these in a large and I love them. The color's incredible. They're really, really nice and high waisted. I love how they're fitting me around the waist area. And on the bum, they're really flattering. Okay, yeah, so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. And again, you will see best in the triumphs. But love the colour of these. They're such an amazing colour. And I like that the blue kind of pops with the blue in this sweatshirt. Really into blue at the minute. I don't know why. I just think it's such a nice colour. Really striking. Love this little outfit. This is definitely a keep. Okay, then we have another little pyjama sleepwear set i really like this the little ditzy floral print on it um it's like baby blue with these really cute little white flowers really like this i did get it in an extra large and if i'm honest like it's definitely roomy like especially the top but i'd rather that i like it when it kind of fits a little bit bigger especially on the shorts i didn't want them to be like underwear so this is very cute it's honestly just something to wear to bed to wear in the evenings i really don't own a lot of like nice pajama pieces um 
and I really, really loved this. I thought it was very, very cute and feminine. So yeah, perfect for spring, summer when it starts to warm up a little bit. But you know, I'm looking to the future. Okay, so I have found the perfect piece of cream knitwear. If you're still looking for something this new year and you're yet to find like a really nice cream jumper, I honestly think this is lovely. Again, it's gonna be linked below because I can't remember the price of this off the top of my head. It is so nice. Really nice neckline, not too high, not a v-neck. It's a chunky piece of knitwear that's very, very warm, but I don't, it's not itching me or anything. I really, really like this. I did get this in a large, so it has a slightly kind of looser, again, more oversized feel to it, but I really like it. It has this, oh, I always forget what this is called, cable, cable knit. We're gonna go with cable knit, kind of pattern. I don't know if you can see because of my camera. There we go, down the front and it's so nice. Love this. I kind of ordered this more for you guys than for myself. I sort of ordered it like, oh, it's a classic, it's a staple. Let's order it and see what it's like. It's such a nice piece of knitwear. I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, and then I grabbed a pair of flared black trousers. Again, hopefully you'll see a little bit better in the try-on clips. I'm so sorry. There's just like not enough space for you to see me full body in this room. They're like a ribbed pair of trousers. I got them in a large. Do you know what? They're quite basic and they're not that long. So I'm kind of deciding if I'm going to keep them because I really wanted them to be very, very long and really flare out onto the floor. But I do feel like a pair of black flared trousers is kind of like a real basic. It's the same as a pair of black leggings. So that was why I picked them up. Um, but I'm not sure if these are like the one. I feel like I actually want to invest in a more expensive pair. Have you tried the Lululemon ones? Let me know. Are they worth it? Is there an Amazon dupe for those? I would love to know. Yeah, as much as I like the idea of these, I know how much I would wear them. These ones I think I'm going to send back. They're just, they feel very cheap in my opinion. Just keeping it real. Okay, next up I have this kind of oversized navy slogan tee. Love this. You could do this with denim jeans. Um, I would do it with like maybe like a navy trouser, a cream trouser and cream accessories. Really, really like it. Even grey. I really like grey and navy together. I think they pair really lovely together. Um, it is a little bit longer and it is a little bit bigger, but you could always tuck it under or just have it loose and oversized. A little bit like that sweatshirt that I showed you from before. Even when it gets warmer, you, this is something I feel like you can do with cycling shorts or denim shorts. Really like this. Uh, the quality feels lovely. It has this sort of Bella logo on it, which I'm seeing a lot of this at the moment. I picked up a couple of tops like this in the States. Um, one that said like New York. And I can't remember what the other one said, but they were from PacSun and they're that more sort of worn in vintage looking slogan tee. Just a real, real basic. Again, a lot of these pieces are just core things that I feel like I will wear again and again and again. Yeah, so I thought this was really cute. Um, again, wouldn't pair it with the black trousers, but wanted to show you it. Okay, next up I have this striped top that I'm really undecided about. Um, it feels really nice and soft. I like the fact that it's a lighter stripe because I only own one other striped item in my wardrobe and that's like a black or a navy and cream from Zara and I love it and I wear it a lot, but I wanted something a little bit more neutral. I've popped those trousers back on as well just to kind of gauge what it would look like. I feel like with something like this, it probably does need to be tucked. Oh goodness. Left my, left my trousers undone. I do feel like it probably needs to be like tucked in or something. Oh, I, I'm so confused. It's got like a split at the side. It's a really nice lightweight knit. This would be perfect for going into spring, just purely because of how lightweight this feels. It's really not like a super thick, heavy, chunky knit. It's almost like not a knit. It's a really unusual fabric. The neckline, I think, is what's confused me. It's like a high neckline, but it's loose. And I don't know, does that look not very expensive? Does it look a little bit basic? I'm just, I'm really on the fence with this one. Maybe I should try it on with some denim jeans and tuck it in and see how that looks. Oh, I worry that I wouldn't wear it enough. I mean, because if I compare this to that little striped cardigan from the start, I would definitely wear this. I can I can see myself wearing it. But this I'm really confused about. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section. It might be a great basic for some of you. I just don't know how I feel. Maybe it's because I'm not like naturally wearing it. And I feel like I've just put it on. It feels very like robotic how I'm showing you it. So yeah, not sure. But let me know about the jumper. What do we think? Yay or nay? Let me know. These are amazing i didn't know i could love a pair of pajamas so much who would have thought it these are so lovely if you have maybe you're doing your hen do soon or before you get ready obviously like when you get married what is, what's that called i don't know like when you're having your hair and makeup done i feel like these would be the perfect pajamas to pick or if you've just got like a birthday coming up like a pajama 
birthday thing um or something where you're getting glam in the morning you know when you have your hair and makeup done this would be so nice to wear these feel amazing these are like nicer than some of my really expensive pajamas i got this set in a large i'm so happy that i did because it's that really cool oversized feel really like cool girl pinterest aesthetic with, with like a cup of coffee i feel like that would make it look really cool i've actually made an ltk edit about my favorite cozy wear at the moment and it's got like my fave slippers my fave throws fave pajamas dressing gowns all of that and i link these pajamas and they are so nice on that i'm really really glad i did what i like about them is yes they're satin but they're not static so the reason why i hate satin pajamas is like, i feel like they get static a lot on me and i just don't like it these feel super cool and lovely they're nice and loose they're not like tight and uncomfortable on the trousers trousers are nice and long and i think what makes them look really really expensive is this black kind of lining and piping to the pajamas they just look very bougie if you need a nice pair of pajamas to lift you or lift your mood it was so funny i was like in a really bad vibe and headspace the other day and i literally went and bought a new pair of pajamas and i felt like it just changed my day and i was so happy with my new little pair of pajamas i did my skincare that night and i put a hair mask in and yeah i don't know i know for some people that sort of stuff is not something that helps them to feel better but for me it is so maybe treat yourself to a pair of lovely pajamas these would be a nice gift as well if you wanted to gift these love them so much didn't expect to like these ones because as i said they were satin but 10 out of 10 okay next up i have this dress which i really had very high expectations for and it's shocking they do this in cream this color and i want to say black it was 34.99 and i don't know i expected so much from it i've got a couple of longer maxi dresses from h&m like i can already tell i'm uncomfortable because i'm literally like this in it which just shows i'm not comfy in it but i've got other longer dresses from h&m in this knitted style that i absolutely love their quality feels a lot better than this this feels just not great um it's definitely not the right shape on me i mean i got it in a large but i wanted it to be like oversized it's kind of big here but then it's clean clinging around the stomach and the hips exactly what i didn't want it's also a really awkward length it's like just above the knee no this neckline does nothing for me but can we like who who does this neckline suit who suits this neckline it's like a scoop neck just no 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 definitely not for me i'm going to be returning this one which sucks because i kind of wish that i'd ended the video in the pajamas like yes everything was perfect but you know what you live and you learn is trial and error okay guys so that is it for my h&m haul i really really hope you guys enjoyed please feel free to leave me any feedback in the comment section below what did you love what did you hate what should i keep what should i return as always everything will be linked down there if you guys want to click the links i would also love to know what do you want to see from me in the year 2023 more fashion content vlog content styling content favorites whatever it is please please let me know i'm always willing to film and document my whole life so whatever you guys want to see on this channel i am welcome to sharing i will have a lot of birthday themed content coming so maybe if you're looking for a dress for a special event um my hopefully next few uploads will help you in that sense and if you have any recommendations of places i can find a really nice birthday dress i would love to know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching today's video please do not forget to leave a thumbs up and comment below it really really helps me on this channel i love you guys so much and i will see you all in my next video bye guys